I use a lot is a pail that has a cover on it and it has a little screen here. And I like this size because it's, uh, uh, well, it's not so heavy uh, as far as, and I feel it's safer if you fill that. You have to make sure that the cover is on tight. Otherwise, you tip it over and it'll all run out. And this is pretty easy because then you just tip that over and make sure that it's over the hole in the inner cover. And they can empty one of those in a couple of days. When do you, when do you start putting that on? Uh, that's a good question. Uh -huh. I, uh, for sure, after the first frost. Yeah, but if it turns cold so the bees aren't moving much, then um, earlier. It depends on how, when you take off the supers, some, and when you think there's uh, not many flowers. What I'm saying is that, that I, I would think that maybe uh, um, well, you can start in the middle of uh, September to the 1st of August, somewhere in there, and you see. Uh, the question is, are, are the bees getting something to eat from the outside, or are they uh, not? And they have to eat all the time to survive, and so uh, if you can kind of keep, you know, you can, <coughs> I usually just put the back October, why uh, they had eaten a lot of that honey. And so, um, I was kind of guessing by gosh or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the other one is uh, tins like this. Uh, these are the old uh, five pound honey pails. Uh, maybe none of you have ever seen them <laughs> because uh, everything is plastic now. And <coughs> The same thing. I have three holes punched in there, and <coughs> the uh, same thing. I uh, just put that on there and kind of make sure that the uh, holes are over the, uh, the other hole. <coughs> and so uh, that one. The uh, other possibility is a bigger pail, but. <coughs> uh, a cover goes on there, and then this is a plastic screen thing, and there are two holes here, and it fits in there. And in that case, I worry about this popping out. It fits pretty tight, my invention. <laughs> and I put it on there like that, and then with a the cover on it, and I have these little pieces here, so that when that cover tips over, that rests on there so I'm not worried about it being coming out. pictures where they have them, soon they fill them uh, all the way and something about again. <clears throat> and if it happens to be warm or get warm, then uh, uh, maybe it'll, the uh, possibility of it's fermenting. As far as those are concerned, I've used, and I got one someplace, uh, <laughs> but um, like, uh, what are they, two pound coffee cans? Uh, the plastic, they'll work. Oscar says not, but I, I've used them. 
And the only thing is when you're going to put the holes in, you better drill them rather than use a nail because it probably split the, at least that's what happened. Yeah. And this is another thing I made. Uh, it's uh, <clears throat> on the bottom. It's so the bees can come up through here. And <clears throat> then you set this on here and these screens. It works the, kind of the same way as uh, uh, frame feeders. And, they, uh, and then you just put sugar water on here and the bees can come up. I found that it, it's a little tricky. <coughs> I have to reinvent uh, something. Well, first of all, you, I didn't do it, huh? which was a mistake. Uh, glue all the joints. Make sure that otherwise they'll leak. So help me. I've got several of those that are plastic. Yeah. You can yeah. buy them. Yeah. Then, yeah, you can buy them plastic now. That's a fairly new uh, thing. And so uh, <coughs> that works. If it gets late, they may not come up to get it. So, uh, because of the temperature. Yeah, yeah. Everything um, depends on <coughs> things to our on the, uh, uh, temperature. Okay. Uh, that would be the possibilities for feeding and for feeding uh, in uh, fall. You should have about two parts of sugar to one part water. It's like a pretty heavy. And see, that's why the temperature thing, because that tends to stiffen up. And <clears throat> so, uh, uh, but uh, that's best in the spring of the year, if you remember, it's one to one. But now, uh, and they will store that. Uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> that's up to you. <laughs> but uh, I like to make sure that I'm using cane sugar as opposed to uh, beet sugar.